Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through varica seals. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash scrotal lumps or in the urology section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. A varicocele occurs where the veins in the pampiniform plexus become swollen. Varicoceles are common affecting about 15% of men, and they can cause impaired fertility, probably due to disrupting the temperature in the affected testicle. All that blood collecting above the testicle increases the temperature, which can result in reduced fertility. Varicoceles may also result in testicular atrophy, reducing the size and the function of the testicle. The pampiniform plexus is a venous plexus that drains blood away from the testes, and it's found inside the spermatic cord above the testicles. The pampiniform plexus drains into the testicular vein, and it plays a role in regulating the temperature of the blood entering the testes by absorbing heat from the nearby testicular artery. The testicles need to be at an optimum temperature for producing sperm. Varicoceles are the result of increased resistance in the testicular vein. Essentially, more resistance in the testicular vein means it's more difficult for the pampiniform plexus to drain, so it leads to back pressure and swelling of the pampiniform plexus. Incompetent valves in the testicular vein allow blood to flow back from the testicular vein into the pampiniform plexus. The right testicular vein drains directly into the inferior vena cava. The left testicular vein drains into the left renal vein. Most varicoceles, around 90%, occur on the left due to increased resistance in the left testicular vein. A left-sided varicocele can indicate an obstruction of the left testicular vein caused by a renal cell carcinoma. Let's talk about the presentation of varicoceles. Varicoceles may present with a throbbing or dull pain or discomfort that's worse on standing. They can lead to a dragging sensation in the scrotum and they can also lead to subfertility or infertility. The examination findings of a varicocele are a scrotal mass that's often described as feeling like a bag of worms. They can be more prominent on standing and disappear when lying down. There may also be asymmetry in the testicular size if the varicocele has affected the growth of the testicle on that side, leading to a smaller testicle on the side of the varicocele. Varicoceles that do not disappear when the patient lies down should raise concerns about retroperitoneal tumours that can be obstructing the drainage of the renal vein. These warrant an urgent referral to urology for further investigations. Investigations to consider with a varicocele are an ultrasound scan with Doppler imaging, which can be used to confirm the diagnosis semen analysis if there are concerns about fertility, and hormonal tests, for example, FSH and testosterone, if there are concerns about testicular function. Uncomplicated cases of varicoceles can be managed conservatively. Treatment with surgery or endovascular embolization of the varicocele may be indicated if there's pain, testicular atrophy, or infertility. If you like this video, consider joining the Zero to Finals Patreon account, where you get early access to these videos before they appear on YouTube. You also get access to my comprehensive course on how to learn medicine and do well in medical exams, digital flashcards for rapidly testing the key facts you need for medical exams, early access to the Zero to Finals podcast episodes, and question podcasts which you can use to test your knowledge on the go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.